just trying to get through these. Uh, Southern SMU. Pony, SMU. Uh, the Pony Excess. I mean, Express. Um, I think they're cheating again. No, I'm joking. Um, they just got back to relevance. <laughs> well, how them, do you think they got there? It took um, them 30 years to dig themselves back from the death penalty. And they're finally back. Man. There are no rules. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I really like SMU. I feel confident. They've got, they've got great facilities. They're not just good facilities. They've got lower power five levels, level facilities. They're good. Mm -hmm. Um, a really nice stadium, really nice recruiting, uh, area footprint. Um, They've got a, the 51, 51st ranked recruiting class, which, which is up from last year. Uh, 70. 70. Um, and I think that they have like some history of winning. They're getting like guys back on campus from when they, you know, did pay their players. Um, they're getting some of those guys back on campus to like rep for. Uh, SMU, which I think helps. They need to do that. They need to involve alumni. Um, despite, like, it's not the alumni's fault that, you know, they're kids and they're accepting money. Yeah. It, it was the school's fault. It wasn't theirs. Um, they play Abilene Christian, uh, North Texas, and then they're at Louisiana. So I think Louisiana they. Louisiana Tech. Well, yeah. Sorry. Louisiana Tech. My bad. I think they win those three games. Um, the Louisiana Tech games are interesting because their head coach, Sonny Dykes, used to coach there. Yep. And then they're at TCU, and uh, that could be an interesting game depending on how good TCU is slash how bad TCU is. Um, Have faith in Gary Patterson. Yeah, I, I think TCU wins that, but I think SMU could make it interesting, um, especially being the, you know – they're very, such very close schools. Yeah. Um, Re both uh, religious private schools in Texas. I, I would love to see that become like an, an annual rivalry. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Like the, the it's like the Holy war the, Christians the, the, against the, the Methodists. Fort, the Fort Worth rivalry. Like, I don't know what you call it, but they're both it's called the, Fort Worth. call it the Holy world. Holy war. <laughs> yeah. All right. The Holy war, the Methodists um, versus Methodists the Christians. versus the, uh, Christians. Christians, yeah. Uh, I like that. Uh, yeah. I think that could be really good. Um, <laughs> then they've got South Florida at Navy, Tulane at Houston, at Memphis, Central Florida at home, at Cincinnati, Tulsa at home, and then the American Conference Championship. So I don't, I don't think SMU is winning the AAC. I don't think they're in the top tier of the AAC. I think they're just below those top, top three teams, if you or two teams, if you want to say Memphis yeah, and Cincinnati, yeah. maybe throw UCF in there. I, I think they're they're a good AAC team who's going to upset one of the top dogs. I can yeah. see them beating Cincinnati, beating memphis i can see him win ucf i can see him winning one of those games i just don't see him winning the aac i could see them starting out three and one and then rattling off four wins to be seven and one yeah um and then have a tough game at memphis maybe win maybe lose and then i i, I just don't see them rolling through memphis central florida and cincinnati all back to back and no getting that i just don't see that that happening um maybe but i don't i just don't see it they're, but if you're an smu fan you're just happy to be relevant again <laughs> you're just happy to win a game yeah. uh you know good good for them uh, and honestly keep paying your players it's good for you it's gonna be legal <laughs>